We're here to discuss a proposal, a suggestion to Gegex to make RuneScape better and more cleaner for more players to join the game. For the hardcore Iron Men that get BS'd and die to server lag and there is no appeal and they just either quit or they have no escape. Recently, we have suffered a loss. And the loss that we have suffered was Alfred, one of my group members that I've chosen to be on this team, has died on our group hardcore Iron Man on his account, obviously, but we all get punished for it because he lost a life. Now, before you say, oh, that's fair, you know, you chose, wait, he died to server lag. Now, a lot of people in the comments are going to be saying, Oda, why didn't he bring a crystal with him? You can't bring a crystal with you into Tazar Jad. We've tried it. It doesn't let you teleport, nor does it work in there. Now, everybody that's been dying on hardcores, when they die to server lag, right? If you die legitimately cool, you know what I'm saying? But when you die to server lag, they either quit or they just go back on their main account or whatever, or they maybe even stay as an iron. But it's not fair to the community that pay for bonds and power up this game because without the community, RuneScape is nothing. Without the people, RuneScape is nothing. They need us to buy bonds to keep the game running. And RuneScape makes an annual of $10 million a month. Now, what I'm trying to say is here, there should be an appeal system for hardcores. Now, throughout this video, I'll be showcasing hundreds of hardcores dying, but maybe about like 10, 15, 20, 50, something like that. But I won't be showing all of them, but there's thousands and thousands of hardcores that died, not to ours fault, but to RuneScape's fault. Gape's fault. See, he just clicked Angler Brew, then it process, spamming his teleport to try to get away. Let's see what happens. I'm in TP. Hello? Spamming Please. Angler Brew, nothing's happening. Oh no. <clears throat> Bro. He was streaming, his internet did not disconnect. He did not drop any frames, it doesn't look like the stream was lagging. Looks like a complete server problem. Yo, what the hell is that? Okay, and there it is. He's an Iron Man now and lost his hardcore. Let's see his reaction. I've never spoke to this guy, right? But can we all agree on that this is BS? Like, bro, he spent like maybe thousands of hours on this one account and then he dies to server lag and then there's no appeal for it when there's obvious proof because he's a streamer. They could, I feel like they could check if they wanted to, if their servers are lagging or something like that. And if somebody puts an appeal for their hardcore, something should be done. Or they could offer like a suggestion or say something like G Nvidia. If you guys know what that is, it, it, it saves three minutes of your, of your last footage. And then you could send it in if you DC uh, with server lag and then they could confirm on their end if it was server lag. A sort of an appeal system because this guy dedicated thousands of hours and then basically just has to quit the account now because he's probably not going to try to pursue Iron Man. Okay, we have another clip here of a hardcore Iron Man doing a pistol sire. Let's see what happens. Can't teleport, can't do anything. And then, no! And then just gets stacked out with like 70 damage because it lagged. No, no. Bro, no. You can hear the pain in his voice though, chat. A server lag has killed him. He was recording, you know? No. 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 Like, Walla, it literally sounds like he's about to cry. Rightfully so though. Imagine dedicating hundreds and like thousands of hours on one account and then you die to something that's not even your fault. It's a very, very bad feeling. On to the next clip. These are just clips that we gathered in the last hour, by the way, for whoever is listening to me right now. Bodhi, live streaming to thousands of viewers. You guys might know who Bodhi is. Probably the, the most infamous RuneScape streamer. He's spamming his teleport. Servers are starting to lag. He's live streaming, so he's not dropping any frames. And look what happens. I can't do anything. Let's wait. 1500 hours here, bro. Teleport, come on, please. Oh no. Might be over, guys. Might be the end. So he ended up dying, lost another hardcore. That was recorded as well. Let's see this. He can't move. It looks like a DC'd. He's stuck on her Cerberus. He starts clicking his house tab because he's a hardcore and doesn't want to die. No, 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 no! So, as you guys can see, another man. I believe this one's the server lag. Yeah, so Alfie, the, the guy that's in my group now, Brother Alfred, he did die to a cave horror. He was spamming a teleport, and it did not work because the server was lagging. And there it is, connection lost. 
Look at his blue D high chaps. Alfie did end up dying there and lose uh, his third hardcore status. I want everybody to know, look how many clips that me and my community found in the last 30 minutes that we're using for evidence to showcase why this is so wrong. Imagine all the people in the world that play RuneScape that are not a streamer and don't have a platform that have died that we haven't seen right? So this is why they should make an appeal system for hardcores that if you die to server lag, there could be a possibility to get that life back because of how many thousands, hundreds of hours, maybe tens of thousands of hours dedicated on this one account. And then you die to something that's not even your full. Like, I don't think people realize how long it takes to get all these items. So like for the people that are watching this video as well, like he doesn't have Torva obviously, but I'm pretty sure this was best in slot at the time. Several thousand minimum, right? Like 5k plus hours minimum. And then it, it all just disappears out of a DC. I'm dead. And he's been spamming teleport the whole time and it just hasn't been processing. Look, it's That's glitched. He's streaming as well for the people that don't know. He's not dropping frames. It's not an internet problem. It's just literally server lag. Like, that's sickening, bro. Like, imagine dedicating that many time and then dying to a DC. I think you guys could all agree that's not fun. Another one, another example that I'll show Ooh, on stream. Change their Twitch name. Oh my God. 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 I'm so dead. Oh my fucking God. I lost my hardcore. I just lost my hardcore. I just lost my hardcore. Yeah, another wow. server, another server lag death. Even Soidoro got a taste of it. Look. Oh my god. Like, Walla, that's a fair reaction, though. Look, he has Torva. What the f, bro? He has Torva, Primordial's Infernal Cape, everything. Like, bro, no. Like, Walla would be so damn depressed. Like, uh, the game decides to server lag. You lose your account that you've been working five to seven K hours on, and then you're just forced to make another one or go back on your main account or play it as an Iron Man. That's why they need an appeal system. DC claimed another, achieved all my wasted time goals, Venetata's pet and wieldy weapon. I mean, we don't see a clip, but I believe him. I just lost my hardcore to OCE servers dying. Currently can't log into Australian servers. My group hardcore admin friend had recently died from a disconnect on a quest, which was somewhat suspect, but servers seemingly were laggy and we just had to move on from it. Except this time I randomly disconnected during mornings and part two while my internet was still up. So I quickly took a screenshot knowing that I probably was going to die or some server rollback was going to happen moments before the disconnect. Yeah. And look, you know what's sad about this? Not like one upvote on his post. And then this guy goes, nothing you can do. Many hardcores get killed by DCs. They don't care about server issues killing hardcore men either. My hardcore admin made it a few weeks before a DC and it ruined my status. I realized at that point that hardcore status was just a game of chance, nothing more. Honestly, I mean, bro. Like, it looks like even all the Redditors agree. Like, they know this is BS. It's like normalized, 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 normalized. So the reason why I'm showing you guys all this is because recently we experienced a life death to a server lag as well. And here's the clip. Alright, what's next? Ranger Major is there. No way! <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I just find Alfie funny. You get what I'm saying? He even teleported after in the afterlife. He was like this. Like, look at that. Now, don't get me wrong. I was extremely sad that we lost life as a group, right? I was sad. Everybody was like felt demotivated and defeated. It was obviously a server lag, not Alfie's problem. Alfie said he didn't even drop one frame. What's so unfortunate about this, whoever understands what I'm about to say, is that when he's prayer flicking, you pray on and then you pray off. And sadly, the server lag happened when he prayed off, which made his prayer not turn on until the server lag's done. If he prayer flicked on at when it DC'd, it would have it would have been on the whole time, if I'm not mistaken. Major is there. Like that's so unfortunate. Like, what a bad time to lag. Now, of, of course, we went to Twitter, and we uh, it's probably going to be shown on the screen, and we asked that uh, our life to be refunded because, obviously, there's proof on stream. And then the last group hardcore of uh, five streamers named by Fox, MMRPC, Mr. Mammal, Roydy, and Z Cookies all got their Osmanian fang back to a glitch that happened into the game. So if they could refund that, and they could refund some Diablo streamer for below 7, I wouldn't see a problem with refunding a life. Now... Even if they don't refund it, this appeal system still should be in the game, right? I think we should all agree on that. This is for the better of the community. I feel like there's been tens of thousands of hardcores that died to this and people that remade and died again to server lag. So if anything, it's just going to benefit RuneScape, right? There's going to be more players that are willing to make an account on a hardcore if they fix this problem and make an appeal system. And there's going to be people that are encouraged to try hardcore. I had tons of viewers tell me that they are scared to make a hardcore because they are afraid that they're going to do a lot of work and then just randomly server DC and uh, there's nothing that could, they could do about it. So, uh, 
uh, Jagex for giving you uh, a suggestion, uh, a proposal, and uh, maybe this should be looked out extremely soon because uh, I feel like this is a big problem and uh, it would make you guys more money realistically. Take care and I'll see you guys next time.